In the beginning is the original once upon a time. God is a storyteller and we are made in that image. I love the Torah verse, Uva Yom Hashvi'i Shavat Vayina Fash. On the seventh day, God rested Vayina Fash and was refreshed. But you can interpret that verb in different ways. The root of the verb is nefesh, which means spirit. So perhaps the verse could be read, On the seventh day, God rested and imagined, dreamed new worlds into being, spirited, conjured souls. And that's what storytelling is. Storytelling is crafting bodies out of the clay and animating them like golems. It is conjuring spirits. Careful of the wax. It is let there be light. Sometimes as a storyteller, you feel like a quill through which other worlds flow. Your imagination and curiosity is tickled. And that's where stories are born. The Hebrew word for soul and breath is the same, neshama. Storytelling is musicianship and magicianship, harnessing breath and soul into melodies and narratives. And when you write stories, you yourself become bodiless. You can haunt hillsides, move through walls, inhabit characters like a dibbuk, time travel. You can reach into the tohu and vohu of creation and stir, combining elements into relationships and plots. Stories are our offerings. We often talk about God as the author of all life, but I like to imagine God as the reader of all life, imagining that our deeds are letters, stories, written to God in a language deeper than words. In the beginning, once upon a time.